Hello, welcome back. It is good to see you. Have you ever driven around a downtown area and you're just looking at these massive skyscrapers and you're wondering what filthy rich person owns these? Well, there's a secret as to how people go about that and they actually own it as a group and they own it as a team. My name is Tommy Brandt. I'm with TB Capital Group where we invest in real estate with a primary focus on apartments. And today we're going to talk about how you can own some of those buildings through a thing called syndication. Let's get started. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's first talk a little bit about the framework that goes into this. So for a syndication, there is an active management team. These are their general partners and there are your passive partners. These are your limited partners, your investors. And then there is the kind of structure that supports everything for the opportunity. Diving into the general partners, the general partner, also known as the syndicator, also known as the sponsor, also known as the GP, short for general partner. This team has the skill set required to execute the business plan. They have the network built up of specialists to execute the business plan, and they've done the market research, and then they have gone through hundreds of deals to source one that meets the criteria for their investors. The GP team assumes all the risk they're the ones running the deal and let's talk about the other partners that are on this team and these are the limited partners the limited partner aka the passive investor their role is to bring the equity to fund the investment opportunity the passive investors receive a portion of the proceeds they will typically get paid in the form of excess rents in the form of cash flow or they'll get paid at refinance or sale of the asset Limited partners are called limited because their liability is limited to just their investment. If someone trips and falls on the property and decides to sue the management team, the limited partner is protected from that. And exactly how much distribution goes to the limited partner is based on the deal structure. The deal structure is basically your equity waterfall. This is gonna dictate where equity flows and this will be clearly identified in the private partnership memorandum of the opportunity. You want there to be an alignment of incentives between the general partnership and the investors in the opportunity. You want both parties to be incentivized to fund closing the asset, managing the asset, and then selling the asset or whatever the last step of your business plan is. And so for a deal structure, you wanna know things like, what is the equity split? whether or not there's a preferred return. You wanna know if there are performance hurdles where there is a difference in returns based off of how well the general partnership operate. Syndications register the partnership with the Securities Exchange Commission, and there are notable restrictions around these types of arrangements. Anyone that's sponsoring and participating in these deals should be knowledgeable and comfortable with the law. Work with your attorney, and as with all investments, do your own due diligence on the team, the deal. Entrusting capital conveys an immense amount of trust and no general partner should take that lightly. With that said, syndications are great to passively invest in real estate to provide cash flow and equity appreciation as well as tax benefits. I hope there was something in there that was valuable. If there was, be sure to like and comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're like me, and you like investing in real estate, and be sure to check out the other videos on this channel. You have my permission to share these videos with anyone that you think would add value to. Thank you for stopping by. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you on the next one.